And video number two on flies. We're talking rear flies today. Again, you can do these on gymnastics rings. I prefer to do these on suspension straps because they have a rotating handle. It's a little bit more ergonomically comfortable, I think. But like the chest flies, we're focusing on a scapular motion with this exercise. So when you lean back slightly, your arms are in front of you, your shoulders are protracted, your shoulder blades are down, out, or out and forward. And then as you pull yourself up, you squeeze your shoulder blades together while keeping tension in your triceps, your upper back, your rhomboids, your traps, and of course in the back of your shoulders. Just like with the chest fly, a little bit of resistance goes a long way, but especially with this exercise, it typically does not require as much resistance as the chest fly. Also, it's helpful to make sure that your glutes and your posterior chain are tight and to slightly arch your back a little bit. So it's kind of like you're leaning back a, a little bit more rather than keeping your body ramrod straight. This allows you to work a little bit more directly against gravity and to not lose resistance at the very top of each rep where you may lose, uh, be more upright, standing upright, and you don't have as much resistance on the muscles. So lean back, keep the back of your body tight, and also try and keep your arms locked and not allowing them to bend as you pull yourself up, which can remove some of the resistance and decrease the tension in those muscles. Let me know if you have any questions down below. Be fit, live free.